Welcome to SmackDown Live. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the phenomenal AJ Styles. So, Samoa Joe continues to attack me. I don't agree with that. But I mean, if it's his way of saying, uh, let's fight, I mean, come on, Joe. You know, I'm ready for a fight. Come on, bitch. He's going for the phenomenal forearm on that new guy, whatever his name is. Jamas Ellsworth or something like that. Oh, no! Boo. Oh, no chin music! Oh! Oh, no! Some more Joe has the Kalkina clutch. Wow. Oh no. This isn't going to stand on my show. James? Yeah, beautiful. You're going to be in a match tonight. Actually, consider it more of a date. Ooh. Okay, I'll write that down. Right on my wrist. Here, Joe, you got a pen? Yeah, here. Good luck, boy. What is it? Say, Tuesday, Smackdown Live. Yeah. At 6 p.m., James Ellsworth, yeah, will go on a date, yeah, with AJ Styles. Phenomenal forearm! And that match is up next! This match is starting now. Ding ding ding. Oh no! James Ellsworth must have got some training down in NXT or something. Heck. Lion Soul! Look how fast the match has changed course. Oh! Oh no, a super kick out of midair! Oh! One! Two! Oh no! Kick him! 
Oh! Bustle Buster! Sending his ass back into the ring. Oh my god, James Ellsworth! Get up! Ow! Cover! One! Two! Yes! You've gotta be kidding me! Clash! Pele kick! Phenomenal forearm! Ding ding ding, the following match is scheduled for one fall, and it is a tag team match. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, sh oh, sh no, tag, tag. Oh, uh, oh, oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Harper with the discus. One, two. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, silver kick. One, two. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a tag. And the double choke slam. One, two, three. Kick! Oh! Uppercut! Brog kick!
Yes, Jeff is finally starting to fight back, but he got King so I don't know how long that's going to last. Oh, and he hit it again. Come on, what the hell in the hell is the wrong in the hell with you, you freak? RKO! Go for the punt! I guess there's an ad going on, but it's not gonna stop the attack. What? I guess that was just kind of the directors trying to stop this gruesome ass attack. This is just sickening. Oh, and the key shots out. <laughs> I'm not gonna let this live down short. Matt Hardy, welcome to SmackDown Live. Shinsuke Nakamura and Randy Orton. You guys will be in a tag team match in the main event of tonight against the Woken Hotties. I'm gonna do to you two weeks from this Sunday. Oh no! One, two! Oh! One, two! One, two! Go! 
Ugh. Oh, and a super kick into the corner. Straight fire! Oh! Back on Lynch. Oh, they explode a suplexy. And another back exploder. Taking her down, flipping her around, and putting her legs on her chest and her face, and he pulled her arm back with the disarm her! Here's your winner of his submission, Beckham Lynn! Them two are fighting at SummerSlam for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh my! A new attitude! Ding, ding, ding. Yes, he knocked his ass out already. One, two. Wow. Ugh. Yes. One, two, three. I just want to make it very, very clear right now. Last week, I did lose to Bob Roode. However, I do kind of feel like I was cheated because I was tombstone twice, choke slammed six times, and hit with a eight a fucking uh, glorious DDTs, and then the match started. I'm not here to complain and all. I've lost my fair share of matches. I've won more matches than I lost. Bobby Roode won't last in WWE if this is the way he's going. But I just wanted to say, Bobby, get out here because I want to talk to you. Let me just start this conversation off, John, with I'm glorious. And one more thing is, everyone wants to downgrade themselves nowadays. Well, I think very highly of myself, because I am the living embodiment of a badass. I might have a glorious character. But I will always know when it comes down to bare knuckle brawls, I don't need any backup like you, John. I don't need words. I will knock your ass down and knock your ass out. All I wanted to say to you, Bobby, was why? Why? Why did I attack you last week? Oh, just because Undertaker paid me $10,000 too. I was not going to turn down $10,000 to beat up some old piece of shh. Really? So you want to bring up the old card? You're almost the same age as me, Bobby. 
I might be almost the same age as you, but I have kids coming up to me saying, Oh, why do you look 15 with a beard? I actually take that as a compliment. I want to look young, and I feel young. I could be young if I wanted to. I look young enough to go back into high school. John, you look like you need to go back into the retirement home. Damn! I just want you to know that if it comes down to it, if the money's right, John, I will have your back. This is not me apologizing because I do not apologize for anything. But John, I just want to let you know that as soon as the Undertaker comes out here tonight, attacks you, I will not have your back. But I will not also say I won't attack you because I also need some stardom. Yeah, I am the number one contender for the NXT title. But as soon as I lose that title, either vanquishing it or I leave it alone, I will be coming for your ass. You have it all wrong. John, I paid him $15. $15 and a spot of glory on SmackDown. And that was enough for him to attack a washed up old man. Washed up old man? I mean... I don't know what I'm even looking at right now. I can't tell if you're washed up an old man or both. Wow, you can you can split words apart and make it a longer sentence. That's amazing, John. I just want you to know at SummerSlam, I will beat you like I beat you at WrestleMania. Taker! Taker! Why? Why do you have to continuously attack John? I'm actually confused with that, Taker. I'm confused. You're 50, right? Something like that? John's 41, maybe? Why do you have to attack someone that is 10 years younger than you? Can you not? Bare knuckle brawl? I don't even care. I'm not going to get into it. Just you keep going. Oh no! What the hell? A tombstone! $15 in a spotlight on SmackDown. Well, screw you. I don't need SmackDown. I'm on NXT. Hey, watch it, Bobby. Glorious!
What's going on? This match is next. Ding ding ding. Yes. Oh. Deep roll up by Matt. One, two. No. Oh. Twist of fate. effect. One, two, tag. Oh, kick to the midsection. Twist of fate. And another kick out. Kick to the midsection. Twist of fate. RKO. Kick to the midsection. Stunning twist of fate. Oh, tag. The prelude. Oh, yeah. Kinshasa. Oh, the roll up. Jackknife cover. One, two. Oh. Kinshasa! One, two, go! Oh. oh! Kick! Twist of fake connects! Swan time! Bomb! One, two, three! <laughs> I want to break character. Wait, Jeff. Matt, I mean, uh, don't. Don't stall, just do it. You know, just forget it. Just let's WWE you know. Matt. Alright, guys, so I've been dealing with some health issues lately, and. No, don't worry, I will be fine, but it's just that uh, I don't like being out of wrestling. I love wrestling, and if I got to retire, it would be the worst thing in a, the world to happen to me. And Jeff over here, he's got a pinched nerve from when he he keeps doing swanton. And I, my back hurts. It's a little pain, but it's not a gloriously huge pain. It's It's a... It's a nervous pain that I don't know where it's going to lead to. It. I, um, I've been having this pain for a little while now, about two years. It's uh, not turning out too well for me. And they said that I, I would need to go to rehab and fix it. Like, what I want to explain to you is that my pelvis and my backbone, my lower backbone, 
are uh, combining into one, or fusing into one bone from all the damage that it's taken. I just wanted to tell you that uh, if I do have to retire, that's the reason why I, um, I, I would like to announce that I will be a free Asian from here on out. I will be on Raw Smackdown. I can go anywhere because WWE has allowed me since I love wrestling so much and I want to put in the effort before I have to go they said that I can I can do that do you guys know how hard it was for him to say that very hard I wanted to also say something this pinch nerve that's the reason I've been doing the swanton lately and I've been losing some matches because I can't, I can't fulfill with the pinched nerve. If you notice, I'm always holding my arm when I leave. It hurts, okay? I also wanted to say, if I had to retire, I want to become a free agent. But it's not as bad as his. Now, if it comes to it, and I have to retire, I want some news in ahead of time before. So I can become a free agent. So if you guys start seeing me become a free agent... That's when you know it's time. <laughs> yeah.